guys, so I'm sorry about not posting last week, but I um, was sick. I guess I should have kind of told you on Facebook or something, but um, I actually had a cold, so I sounded weird, and then with inflammation of the ears to add, so I couldn't really edit stuff. On to something much more fun than um, me being sick. Uh, Christmas traditions. One Christmas tradition, my mom always hangs up this, and um, if you can read Icelandic, it says go the old. Um, when I made this when I was a kid back in uh, '99, and well, it was supposed to say glæðileg um, jól. Uh, which is kind of like the difference between saying Good Christmas and Merry Christmas. So, yeah. We argue about that every Christmas, but I don't know, maybe I kind of kind of wanted to hang it up anyways. Uh, so I hope she doesn't take me too seriously. Other Christmas traditions is um, the food. We eat um, Hongikyot, which is smoked lamb, um, really, really, really smoked lamb, and um, yeah, it's delicious. I've always wondered this, because I'm not certain, I guess I could Google it, but I'm just going to ask you, uh, when do you open your presents? Because I, I imagine um, Laura opens hers in, in the morning of the 25th. Um, because that's like the American thing. But we open them in the evening on the 24th. And I was just wondering, in Canada and uh, in England, uh, does it follow the um, American way or the other way of opening presents? Yeah. So. Other than that, I just really, I really love the music. You know, I love Christmas songs, they're always so cheery. Except for, um... Except for Carol of the Bells. That one is really, really depressing, but I still love it. It's one of my favourite songs this Christmas, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna just flush the toilet. And you know what, I'm really glad I uh, started this whole YouTube thing because since I'm spending a lot of time on uh, YouTube and I'm subscribed to like 200 people, I, I'm getting a lot of, you know, Christmas uh, skits and, um, and uh, Christmas songs and it's really putting me in the Christmas mood, so uh, thank you YouTube for that. On, oh, on the, on the topic of um, food-related um, recommendations, uh, my daily recommendation is going to be that you try a pizza with bananas on it. It's delicious. It's, mm, I just love it. To me, it's almost like having dessert and pizza at the same time. Because, you know, um, I don't know if you have eaten a lot of it, but grilled bananas are also extremely good, you know, with chocolate in them. Um, you can try that as well, you know. Just because the pizza thing was my recommendation doesn't mean you can't try the other thing. Oh no, uh, I, I had some really, really sad news. I mean, they stopped the production of the best show ever to um, come from Canada, in my opinion. Um, it's a show I've loved ever since I saw the movie, um, way, way, way long ago. Uh, the, the first show s starred the genius behind MacGyver, and then there was Atlantis, uh, a great, great show that ended way too soon, and then there was Stargate Universe, which 
according to uh, very reliable sources on Twitter, uh, namely um, David Blue, the actor portraying uh, Eli. That show has been cancelled. And I've literally spent like three days crying. No, I haven't. But um, yeah, I was really sad because I thought that show was really going places and I was looking forward to seeing the next season and to hear that um, there won't be a season three, I was, I was let down. Um, but yeah, hopefully they change their minds or something and we get a season three, but I'm not seeing that happen, so um, yeah, that was the sad news. And also, since I gave you some sad news, I've got to give you some, um, well, not good news, uh, yeah, it's good news. Uh, something that made me really proud to be a nerd fighter. Uh, Hank just highlighted a video, you probably saw it, but for those um, who are watching this who might not be nerd fighters, um, I just wanted to show you one of the reasons I'm really, really, really proud to be a nerd fighter, and um, that's the video I'll link to at the end of this video. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Megan. I told my dad recording would take ten minutes, and right now it's nine fifty.